Hello and welcome. In this talk, we will discuss FUSI BMC IA, Interval Analysis and Methods for Test Case Generation. Here is the team behind our tool and the supporting institutions below. Software testing is one of the most crucial phases in software development. Tests often expose critical bugs in software applications. We advocate to combine different techniques to produce various test cases, such as abstract interpretation, bounded model checking, and fuzzing. We also desire to optimize the current version of FUSI BMC in terms of time by pruning the search space. So in this talk, we propose FUSI BMC IA, a test case generator that relies on abstract interpretation and interval analysis and methods to improve the selective fuzzer by pruning the search space for the fuzzer. Here we see the framework of our tool with the added parts highlighted in green. As we can see, the tool is built on top of FUSI BMC version 4 and starts as early as the analysis part. The tool also utilizes abstract interpretation via Pharmacy to extract accurate intervals and the interval method forward-backward contractor to prune the search space for the select fuzzer. First, I would like to show what is a forward-backward contractor. A forward-backward contractor is an interval method that is applied to a constraint satisfaction problem with one single constraint. It contracts in two steps, forward evaluation and backward propagation. Illustrated in the algorithm below, on, one, on line 2 we have the forward evaluation and on line 4 is the backward propagation step for each dimension. On the left, we have an example of a constraint of y plus x minus 1 less than or equal to 0, with an initial domain in green and the result after applying the contractor in orange. The result of the contractor is always a subset or equal to the initial domain. Back to our tool, we start with FUSI BMC analysis stage where the goals will be instrumented into the program under test. Then we parse each condition leading to a goal to create a constraint satisfaction problem for each goal. This stage will produce a file that is instrumented specifically for pharmacy. When we create contractors, first we create constraints for each goal. For the first goal, we have only one constraint, so we have one contractor. In the second and third goals, we have an intersection of two contractors, each with a single constraint. Generally, all set membership operations are viable here, that includes union and difference. Then we start instrumenting the file for pharmacy. On the right, we see the instrumentation done by FUSI BMC IA to be analyzed by pharmacy. We will use the intrinsic function by pharmacy to show the intervals at each given location. Promacy allows to put custom text after the word each, which we utilize for the following. The first number represents the goal number. The second number represents the number of variables. Finally, inside the brackets, we list our variables. Next, we start the domains reduction stage, where we run Promacy with the instrumented file as input and parse the output. When parsing, we take into account which goal and how many variables it has. This usually yields smaller intervals than the initial ones. Then, we update each variable domain with the reduced intervals. With all the components of a constraint satisfaction problem in hand, we move to the next stage. We apply the contractors at each goal and then produce a file detailing each goal along with its intervals. Here is an example of applying each contractor and the result. In the first contractor, the upper bound of the interval for the variable x was reduced to zero. The second 
produced both the upper and lower bound of the interval of x to 0. Finally, the third produced an empty set, which means that the goal is unreachable. Then we produce the interval file shown on the right. We see each goal followed by its variables. Each variable has the lower bound followed by the upper bound. When a contractor produces an empty set, we mark it unreachable. Finally, we apply our analysis in the selective fuzzer. This is done by modifying the intervals for the fuzzer and have it start with the intervals provided by the contractor. Also, if the goal is unreachable, we set it to the lowest priority to be fuzzed. We also lower the priority with broad intervals to keep the goals with smaller intervals at top priority. Because the produced intervals have a higher chance of reaching the goal than the intervals we started with. However, when we say the goal is unreachable, it is guaranteed that no value will satisfy the condition to reach it. Our tool has received three significant awards from the fifth international competition on software testing, organized by the European Joint Conference on Theory and Practice of Software. Our tool got third place in the most critical category of test comp cover error. It also got third place in the category of test comp cover branches, which made it earn the third place in test comp overall category. The main goal when developing our tool was to cut the test generation time while retaining a high score. The results show that our tool ranked third place having the least time in the top three. When we compare our tool to Fuzzy BMC version 4, we notice a slight decrease in score. However, our goal was to cut down the time it takes to produce these test cases, and we achieved this by lowering the time by 50% in cover error, 35% in the cover branches, and overall by 36%, with a slight compromise of 5% in the score. When we compare how many points per minute it produces, we see an increment of 47% over Fuzzy BMC version 4. Fuzzy BMC IA source code is written in C++ and Python. It is available for download on GitHub. Also, the instructions for using the tool Fuzzy BMC IA are given in the file README. If you want to find out more about Fuzzy BMC IA, please visit the GitHub link shown on this slide. Also, Below is our paper title for further reading. It is also my pleasure to answer any questions regarding our work on the email below. Thank you for your time.